All right, all right. We are back, kind of. Uh, there's no audio from the game, so I'm going to have to unplug my capture card probably and plug it back in. Before I do that, though, let me make sure that I actually have it turned up because sometimes I'll be, like, playing a game while I'm doing something else, so I'll turn it down. Make sure level... Yeah, nope, it's turned up. Okay, let me unplug my capture card and plug it back in. Hopefully that fixes it. Sometimes it does, sometimes it didn't. doesn't. I'm 99% sure the problem is my shitty HDMI switch that I use, but uh, the capture card also fucks up sometimes, so could be either one. Fuck, excuse me. I'm still not hearing anything. Now the picture's not moving. That's good. Deactivate, reactivate. Still quiet. Okay, it might be a capture card problem. How do you vote on things? Yes, so... On Twitch, I don't know if you're on mobile or if you're on, um, on on desktop, but there should be somewhere where there's like rewards, um, or requests or or something. Somebody who actually uses it should be able to uh, say what it's called. Because the thing is, like, I can only see what it looks like on my end. I can't really see what it looks like on the user end. I can go here though, real quick. So if you're on desktop, it'll be right underneath of chat. There's a, a little tiny picture that you probably can't see what it is. And then a number. That's how many points you have. If you click that, then uh, it'll bring up like all of the different options that you can choose. Just to, You can make me do things. Uh, you can feed the dragon. You can vote on games etc etc if you have any questions about like what games and stuff you can vote on just let me know and we will uh we will either show you the list or just tell you some of the options or whatever but i need to get this damn game working come on there we go yep it was the switch this time awesome so we got some sound everything's working let's get started shall we all right we're recording and it's official we are playing a game as soon as I can find my PS2. Okay, I got it. All right. Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. You guys were asking why Charlotte is a menace, or rather Mr. Noodle brought up the fact that Charlotte, our new kitty, is a menace, or I called her a menace. So for anyone who doesn't know, I have trouble sleeping quite often, in fact, and uh, that's, that's not a big deal. A lot of people do. But uh, I sleep better on couches, generally speaking, than I do on beds, or like our bed. So I went downstairs to go back to bed this morning because I have to, or I had to work today, right? Um, and Charlotte was down there and she cuddles up with me and that, that was all cute and everything. Um, game's a little loud. There you go. That, oh, you know what the problem is? Huh. <laughs> you see, <laughs> the problem is... Hold on, what if I use desktop audio? Maybe we'll do that. Because, like, for whatever reason, Bo the Dragon... I'll get back to the story in just a second. Bo the Dragon for that plugin and for the Farts plugin... Or the Farts plugin... Ah, the, the sticker plugin. It's playing audio to me, but for some reason it wasn't passing that audio through to OBS, even though I have it enabled to. Um, so I had to turn on desktop audio for it. And, uh, <laughs> well, I can hear the game, of course, because the game's running through my desktop to get to my headphones. So it was playing the audio twice. <laughs> it's playing it through the desktop and through um, the direct capture. So hopefully it'll be a little bit better now. Let me know. Let me know if it's still a little bit too loud. I can turn it down a bit more or whatever needs done. Um, but anyways, yeah. So no, I was having trouble sleeping last night. So I get up. I go downstairs to the living room. Lay down on the couch. Charlotte down, is down there. The new kitten is down there. And she cuddles up with me. And uh, we, we start to go to sleep. Well, I wake up at some point. I don't remember if she was moving or if I was just uncomfortable for a moment. What happened? I wake up a little bit. I'm like three quarters of the way asleep. You know, my eyes are closed and I feel her moving around. I just kind of ignore it. And then all of a sudden, I start feeling her licking my face, my nose specifically. 
which is super cute, you know, kittens licking your face, giving you little kisses or whatever. Super cute. But for whatever godforsaken reason, this little tiny kitten has some terrible breath. Terrible breath, dude. It smells so bad. So, trying to sleep, and then her licking my nose? <laughs> so not only did I get a nice big whiff of her stank-ass breath, but then it was stuck to my face when all I want to do is go back to sleep so that I can go to work because she licked my nose so her saliva was on my face right in my nose holes it was gross and uh it was not appreciated but it's fine i just pushed her away a little bit and she got the hint and then uh she laid back down and we went to sleep <laughs> but a menace i tell you terrible plus she she hates closed doors doesn't matter what door it is if it's closed hates it we put a little towel underneath of our door in the uh, bedroom because we like to keep it cold in here. Um, but we don't want to cool down the whole house. That would cost a lot of money whenever we sleep. So we put a towel under the door. She will grab it and pull it out from under the door constantly or push the door open. Um, <laughs> she sits outside any door that's closed basically and just cries for like 20 minutes straight. Like <laughs> she's just, she's seriously a people person. She uh, seems to have trouble not being around people constantly or not being allowed to be around people constantly, I guess I should say. Because every once in a while she will just go off and do her own thing or go to sleep in the, the, the little room that we had set up for her um, while she was getting used to the other cats in the house and whatnot. She'll like go in there and, and, and lay down in one of the, either the carrier that we took the door off of so she could get in and out of anytime she wanted to or the little cat house that we have, things like that. Um, but most of the time, yeah, no, she needs to be like in someone's bubble constantly. Anyways, Shamu in the deep world seas, deep so what are we playing? I didn't even I forgot to change the name of the game, the category, everything. Holy hell. It's been a little while, guys, if you can't tell. Shamu's or Sea World Adventure Park, Shamu's Deep Sea Adventure. That is that is way too long of a name. Um <laughs> I think we'll just call it Shamu's Deep Sea Adventure. How about that? Uh, Control V. Shamu's Deep Sea Adventures. Done. Let's go. That's your manager's job to keep track of that. Rue, what are you doing, my guy? You're supposed to yell at me when I screw things like that up. <laughs> I'm joking, man. You're fine. Shamu and Horatio conclude another fantastic day at SeaWorld. Learn how to use Shamu's animal behaviors, pick up items, avoid sea mines, and break open sea chests. Listen closely to Horatio as he speaks through SeaWorld's magical portal to communicate with Shamu. SeaWorld practices dark magic, confirmed. I always knew there was something up with that place, man. Over here opening portals to hell and shit? I mean, okay, sure, fine. They didn't specifically say it was a portal to hell, but let's be honest. We all know what, what, what SeaWorld's got going on over there, man. Business is a little bit down. They had to pick it up somehow, make a little bit of that moolah so they can they can feed the animals and things. So what better way than making a deal with the devil himself? And how do you get to hell to make a deal with the devil? You use your dark magic to open a portal, man. Confirmed. <laughs> Shamu's training. Let's go. A little shrimp Welcome doing circles down the corner. Oh, we got voice acting. What? I'm Horatio the Manatee. Our last show for the day has ended. Let's begin our lessons for your new animal behavior, Shamu. Horatio is a manatee. If you to the lower left of your screen. Is that like an actual character the awesome in the SeaWorld picture of Shamu, mythos? the powerful and majestic killer whale? It is surrounded by a green and blue circular bar. Is and that our, our magic and seashells all around it? This indicator will help guide you throughout our adventures. Let me explain. See that green semicircle around your picture? This is your health bar. Okay, green is health. That makes sense. Green and full. Otherwise you'll have I'm assuming the other one's like stamina or something like that, but you you head cannon? This bar full. Mana so bar, dude. <laughs> Shamu's secretly now, a mage. The blue semicircle oh, is your oxygen, air. of your course. Oxygen. And just like I forgot, whales are... I almost said mortal. <laughs> whales are mortals, Otherwise, guys, in case you, you didn't know. Whales are mammals. They gotta, they gotta breathe that air and stuff. Remember to always try and keep your green and blue bars full. 
Chocobo, you're surprised that they even have voice acting for this game? Yeah, dude. Honestly, like, uh, it seems like they actually might have put a little bit of work into the game. The higher the number is, the more animal behaviors you can perform. And while the voice actor sounds nothing like a manatee, at the very least, it sounds decent. You know, it doesn't sound like shit, like someone just completely phoned it in. to communicate with you, Shamu. Sometimes, if you look across from your picture, over to the right, you'll see me appear. I will have the same bars and coral that you have. Just look over. I will be speaking to you throughout your adventures. But beware. The lip syncing is terrible, though. <laughs> Whatever anim uh, animator they put on that, from the deep. get rid of that guy, dude. Green and Done fucked it up. For you to see their health and oxygen levels as well. Now, back to those wonderful red bubbles. These bubbles are your the long ass fucking tutorial. Capture as many of these red balls of krill as you can. This will increase your agility and make it easy for you to perform your animal behaviors when needed. Eating the krill balls will also help make your green bar stay full, and your agility percentage number will increase. So red balls fill everything, basically. Red balls for the win. See these sea chests. They come in many forms, but most have the look of these particular ones. Once the chests have been opened, you'll notice they're filled with many fantastic goodies and surprises. Swim over these to collect them. See these drifting transparent forms. Anyone seen the movie Orca? I don't think I've ever heard you of the movie Orca. It sounds like a terrible B movie, up. a la um, Sharknado or something like that, though. That's fast. full on what I'm uh, expecting. Press R1 from from a movie named Orca, Orca, dude. Like an Orca whale somehow gets on Shamu, land and starts eating people alive or something whale. like that. Killer it's got to be something terrible. Need air, just like other mammals. Shall I do a question of the stream? Yes, dude. Lose your turn what is our question of the day, Ru? I like it. Losing all of Work your away with a grudge? I mean, isn't that basically I what I described? If you look at the top of the screen, now I'm just picturing an Orca Whale version of, uh, of items which it's like Keanu collect. Reeves movie. You can collect fabulous photos of SeaWorld. Uh, you can also collect many ancient relics. John Wick. Which give you I'm just imagining points. Orca John Wick now. <laughs> Somehow he gets like custom guns made for his fins. <laughs> just fucking jumps up in the air, does some trick shots. <laughs> <laughs> Start shooting the people from uh from the middle of the ocean promise. all the way out what into the land. You may encounter will certainly Love it. explode. He stays in the water, but he does burn down someone's house. When you How? How do you burn down line, someone's house from the water? As does he get a fucking torch in his mouth and throw it onto land? Creatures. I don't <laughs> what? Be very careful. Swimming there was an into animal the you wish could explosions. talk. What animal would if that you be? Swim into the mine, it will also affect your health. An animal that I wish could and talk. And one more thing about the mines. There are also sonic mines, which are triggered by your movements. The closer you get to them, the faster they huh. beep. When you hear this beeping sound, honestly, away cats are a pretty possible. good answer, this like Noodle said. Avoid any damage. Because, like, sometimes I just want to know what the hell is going on through their head. You know what I mean? These numbers but, like, represent your score. is there a better one? Your Dogs, if you're more of a dog person, I guess, would be, be, you know, like Corvids. I mean, not, like, it'd be neat to, like, get more flies or something to like that. Above the 40 it would be neat range. because, like, just the stuff they, they would see that no one else see that shiny crystal would see or hear. This is Stream, oh my god, Psycho, what's up, crystal. man? Welcome, Everywhere welcome. Dreaded Kraken travels. He leaves these Any, like, big behind. network of birds like that would be really cool, though. Like you said, a huge in info network, long. huge spy network. These crystals are the stuff you could learn. And can also <laughs> give you points. But that would go, like, they both ways, because, like, the question was, like, if you could talk to one animal, right? Just what animal could talk in general, could speak in general? So, like, not only would you be able to spy on a bunch of people with your your trained crows, but other people would be able to use them to spy on 
with you, too. Then you would have a whole thing with double agents and whatnot. Oh, boy. It'd be rough. <laughs> could you imagine, though, like, if it was a fly or something like that? Like, if flies could talk? How paranoid people would get? Because them things are everywhere, dude. There is a set of behaviors All the secret conversations and whatnot. You'd have to get into, like, a fucking sealed clean room to have a, uh, a confidential uh, uh, conversation with anyone. Because otherwise, you would just, like, there could be a fly hiding. Or you could say that with any bug, I guess, really, right? Like, there could just be one hiding in the... In the in between the boards of the floor or something like that, you know, listening in on you and then and then flying away to their master to tell them all the all of your dirty laundry. Like cats or fish of any kind, yeah, 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 yeah. It's like, hey, thank you so much for the sub, man. I appreciate that, psycho. Cats or fish? Why fish? I mean, I guess if it was like a fish that could travel to the deep sea, that would be pretty cool, right? Because, like, then they could tell you the things that are down there that we just haven't been able to, to see, to, to, to um, like, you know, to get that deep to, to explore. It, which is still just blows my mind that there are creatures in the ocean that we've never seen, that, like, haven't seen the light of day even because they just live so deep into the ocean, you know? Fantastic. Like, the fact that we have the, the, the moon mapped out better than we do Swim close to the, chests the, uh, the surface of the moon better than we do the, the bottom of the ocean is just insane. Chest and break them open by using your powerful tail fluke. How do we tail fluke again? Oh, nope, that was... Swim close to the chests and Press break X them to use your tail fluke. Yes. Tail fluke. I don't know why it keeps talking to him. I'm trying awesome. to... <laughs> I'm trying to tail fluke my, my guy. You work at Cat and D's now? Fish are my life? I have no idea what Cat and D's is. I'm assuming it's some sort of restaurant or something like that. Uh, I don't know. Chicken are mine, but also nice. Wait, what are we doing here? Now... Hit the, hit the sea, sea mine, mine with your tail, yes. Now, I'm, I'm trying to hit the sea mine with my tail. If you would stop. <laughs> stop now, talking to me. I'm trying to hit X. <laughs> it's this dude. Great. IDK what Captain D's is? What? Uh. Wait, are like. I'm super confused Swim now. <laughs> Think of classier Long John Silvers. Okay. <laughs> I've never heard of it. As far as I'm aware, there's none of them around where I live. As far as I'm aware, I mean, I live in a like a pretty rural area. So maybe in one of the cities around where I live, they have one or something like that. But uh, yeah, no, I've never, never seen or heard of it before. You've never heard of it either? Yeah. So maybe that's just not much of a thing over here in the not quite... East Coast. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, man. Swim over the relic and the photo to collect them. Okay. So those are just collectible cool. things. You got it. I never understand games like this because it's like, what is the worst part of every video game? You know, they just sit down, have a meeting. What's the worst part of every video game? Water levels, dude. Everyone talks about how they hate water levels. Okay. Okay. So we need to make a new game. What should we do? We don't want to have water left. Oh, you know what? We'll be a fucking fish swimming around in the water all goddamn day. That doesn't make any sense. Everyone knows water levels suck, man. Why make a whole game based around it? I just don't get it. Hydrate. You got it, my guy. Let's get a drink. Where is my drink, actually? Hold on. Give me, like, five seconds. I got to stand up and get my drink. Ow. Uh, okay. I got water. Uh, if I can get my chair scooted back in. And drink time, dude. Let's go. That's appreciated. Still getting over this stupid cold or COVID or whatever I have. Uh, so a drink to help soothe the throat. Fantastic. <laughs> Although all that moving made me want to cough. So I don't know. <laughs> hmm. Shall we create a single bubble layer around yourself? Press the defensive button on your controller. Circle. 
Excellent. So that's that's our shield. We just create a bubble around us. Can we still swim? Now for the special behavior. Press, Press the, the special, special move, move button, button on your controller. Square is the special move button. This is your Echo Rumbler, which sends echo out a Rumbler loud killer whale call. A loud killer and whale call. Your enemy. How's that a special move? Oh, because that's our special. I thought it meant like actual movement. They let you say the C word on Twitch? Oh, COVID you mean? Or are you saying cunt? <laughs> which, which word are you talking about? I think you're talking about COVID. Yeah, no, it's fine. The other word I don't really care about either, but like <laughs> me and water are fighting a killed spill a kid. It's a kill. Ha! Ah, I'm dying. <laughs> A kid spilled their drink, and when I went to put wet floor signs down, the sun blocked some of it, and I fell. Oh, no, dude. <laughs> that sucks, man. You got to be careful with that, though. My mom, she used to work at, uh, when I was a kid, worked at a uh, at McDonald's. She was a, a manager at one. And she was taking the trash out one day, and some of the trash juice leaked out onto the ground, onto the floor, and she slipped in it and, like, messed up her back for a good, like, 10 years, man really screwed her up it was a uh, it was bad had like multiple discs in her back I don't know if the discs were broke or just like completely out of place or what I don't remember because I was like six seven years old or something like that when it happened but uh yeah dude fast food really can be dangerous <laughs> shouldn't be <laughs> really but it can be are there gonna be boss fights in this game like, are we gonna have to fight that freaking Kraken at some point? I was waiting to do it now, and it just kind of, like, made us run away, which I'm a little upset about. I want to fight the Kraken, dude. Let's go. Colossal Squid. Uh, uh, Colossal Squid. Uh, Colossal Squid. Ha! Ah, why can't I say it? Colossal Squid or Kraken, whatever. It's close enough. <laughs> Avoid the crap. Oh, we just got to run away from it. That's less fun. I want to fight it, dude. Let me take this thing down. Swim away quickly. Flee from the Kraken to complete this mission. I mean, I'm not actually doing the swimming here. Oh, wait, is this is this basically like like the <laughs> dude <laughs> when we were playing Shark Tales? Is this basically like the same thing as that? Where we just go whichever way the arrow tells us to go and we're we're fine? We actually have taken some damage though, unlike the uh the Shark Tales one, where it seemed like it was basically impossible to take damage. I think our goal is just to collect as many of the, the things as How do we dodge the hits? I was in the corner. Do we just have to move constantly to not get hit? I'm confused. Ow. Dude, we might actually... We're actually dying. What is... <laughs> what is going on with this? Your health bar was drained. You cannot continue to... I know, but why? <laughs> we did what you said to do. We went to the, the corners. Ah. You're 33, so you're a manager. I wasn't aware that was a tongue twister. Swim Everything's a quickly. tongue twister when Flee you're from the Kraken It's one of the, the bonuses mission. of being trash. Why, uh, dude, I, I literally can't move. I, I'm not playing. Like, you see my guy right now? I can... <laughs> this game is broken! I can face different directions, but I can't actually physically move. <laughs> what is going on? This game is so trash! I take back what I said about them actually putting some effort into it. This is... <laughs> this is I can't do anything! I can just look. I can look in different directions and that it. I'm so angry. <laughs> ah, okay. Uh, restart, I guess. Let's uh let's give it another go. Are you sure you wanna re I mean we died, so I don't really have a choice but to restart. <laughs> Don't give me that. Ten years ago at 22, damn me. You know? Swim away quickly. <laughs> Flee from the There we go. We can move now. This mission. Does not move the way it used to. <laughs> oh, dude. I feel that. I'm not I haven't quite hit 30 yet, but I'm getting I'm getting close. <laughs> I feel that though, dude. All too well. I've noticed in the past like few months, my joints have just been hurting for literally no reason. 
I don't know if I'm starting to get some arthritis in my joints or or what's going on. All I know is it sucks. <laughs> Mainly in my right hand, like in, in one specific finger of my right hand. At first, I thought it was just because like I've been playing on the Steam Deck a lot more often. The Steam Deck and, and to a lesser degree, the Switch with the, the new Pokemon game coming out and whatnot. So I was like, okay, it's probably just, you know, I'm holding these these consoles in my hand more, um, so it's wearing them out or whatever. But, like, it's been, like, a month or two, and it's still, it's still hurting. So, I don't know, dude. I think, I think maybe I'm just getting some arthritis. <laughs> okay, so the problem is we weren't staying where the arrow is. I thought once we collected the thing, we would be good. No, we need to go to whatever edge it tells us to and then just, just sit there. Turns out I was just too ADD for this game. <laughs> I just couldn't sit still long enough to make this game happy. We watched, uh, Noodle and I watched this uh, Harry Potter fan film on YouTube the other day. I don't know if anyone's fans of Harry Potter here. Um, it was, uh, Snape versus the Marauders or something like that. I thought we were done! It literally said objective complete! I hate my life. <laughs> why, why did it say objective I stopped caring! I thought we finished! Anyways, I don't know if anyone's Harry Potter fans or not. It's fan-made, so it's not canon even a little bit or anything like Swim that. Swim away, quickly! But it uh, had surprisingly so decent production value for a, a fan-made thing on YouTube four years ago or whatever, whenever it came out. And uh, it's all about before, like, uh, before the, the Wizarding War really went hardcore and before James and Lily got killed. And uh, the, the Marauders decided to pick a fight with, with Severus Snape. And... Uh, as far as I know, it's not actually based on anything from the books or movies in any way, other than using the characters and the fact that the Marauders did canonically love to torture Snape. Um, but yeah, I, I would suggest giving it a watch. It's only like 20-some minutes long. It's not super long, and it was, a, it was a lot of fun. Noodle and I were hoping that they made more. Um, they did do one of the, the fight between Dumbledore, Grindelwald, uh, Aberforth, where where Dumbledore's sister got killed. They did do one with that too, but it wasn't as good, I feel like, as the, the Marauders one. And then the rest of the stuff they do seems to just be like podcast style stuff, which obviously got nothing nothing against, but their 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 live action thing that they did was was really cool. Okay, gotta actually focus a little bit, because apparently after you complete the objective, it keeps going. Collect 20. Oh, that was just collecting enough crystals. It was like a sub-objective, not, not GG, level over. How long does this thing go on for? Holy hell. It shouldn't be case-sensitive, is it? Maybe it, uh... Maybe the bot just broke for a moment, because Lord knows it's done that before, Mission too. Success. The Streamlabs bot, dude, don't get me wrong, I like it. Obviously, I use it, but uh, it's got some quirks to it every now and then. <laughs> Force the cat, yeah. So that's how it usually plays out. And the bot's uh, the bot's a little too good at tic-tac-toe. Obviously, you're no amateur with it either, though. <laughs> Rescue Horatio. Let's go, dude. After showing off his strength, the Kraken holds Horatio in a cell. Find the anchor and break the chains attached to it. The rocks will break and Horatio will be free. I see the quality of this game going down quick. <laughs> we went from... Uh, full 3D models in a, in a pool or whatever with some animations and voice acting and whatnot to 3D environment being chased by a Kraken sort of thing. Now to low quality JPEGs, very low quality JPEGs 
with text. I don't know how well this is coming through on stream itself, but you can see so much artifacting around the text because that, that texture is such a low resolution. Like, oh boy. <laughs> Quality Shadows quick plummeted. thinking worked. The Kraken is too big for this hole and ceases his chase. Ha, too for big now. for that hole. Doubt it. Kraken is up to something for sure. Be careful. He might be very dangerous. I'm pretty sure the audio just peaked a little bit there as well for the for the voice actor here. For I guess that's Horatio's voice actor. What's this? A hole? Maybe the way to Horatio? Let's see. The Kraken should be called Horatio. Magic abilities. Plunders a hole. No wait, Shamu. Shamu plunders your holes. Ah, <laughs> we're not playing Horatio. I wonder if we'll get to play Horatio at some point. Switch it up a little bit. Why not? Playing for VA budget cuts. <laughs> oh, God. Voice acting is what VA stands for. It looks like a lizard. Horatio looks like a lizard. A little bit, dude. I can see it. I mean, going into it, I didn't have I very high Rescue expectations. And complete this mission. But when I, when, well, we on, on stream that one day looked up the, uh, the YouTube video, I, it, it did raise my expectations a little bit, I'll admit. I think it might have been this section they were playing through. Be careful. You can never know. It's like the, the section where you just get to actually, like, explore you around and whatnot and look for stuff. Is this a hub world? Sea world that way, caves this way? Oh, but we haven't unlocked the caves yet. It's totally... It's totally a freaking hub world, dude. Sadly, I don't think reset works. I think you just have to play it out. That would have that's something they Find should have added to the to the bot though. The that makes a lot of sense for whenever you know that it's a, a dead game. Silence! What's up, my guy? Welcome. Okay, so what are we what are we actually trying to accomplish here? I'm assuming we gotta line this stuff up, but with what? To the outside? Wait, was that it? That was <laughs> that was seriously it? Okay, lower my expectations. Kids game, gotta remember. It's probably made for like five year olds. I can't imagine there were that many like hardcore teenage gamers or whatever. Going around playing Shamu's deep sea you adventures. Found a gold key. What is the what are the keys for? Ah, not the sea urchin. I'm sad to say this game controls a hell of a lot better than Shark Tale. <laughs> I don't know if that should surprise me or not, but it does a little bit. For some reason, I would expect more quality out of uh, Shark Tale than I would a, a freaking Sea World game. Nice relic. How do we? How do we get this oyster to open up? Do we do the that there? I don't know if that actually made it open up or if we just got lucky, but whatever, it worked. We got it. Poison. How do we get poisoned? Ow. Asshole. Little fish. I don't know, man, I was a pretty wild teenager. I would have played this. <laughs> Nothing against teenagers that would have, but like, you I don't know, dude. I was, uh... I was much more into like Kingdom Hearts, God of War, Tony Hawk, stuff like that. But to each their own, dude. If Shamu was your jam, who am I to, to <laughs> who am I to say anything? Okay, do we have? Excuse me, I'm gonna cough again. Ugh. Uh, do we have just like the simple straight pieces again? It looks like we don't. Okay, well we have something close enough though. Uh, no, wait, go back. It was that one. And then you just go over. Look at us go! 
I was expecting this to be like have to line up all four sections or something, not literally just one. But at least they did something with the game, right? They could have just left it at Shamu swimming around in circles or turned it into like a, a terrible mini game style game. Where like you're just jumping through hoops as Shamu or something like that. I could totally have seen them doing something along those lines. Noodle, thank you so much for the five bits, love. I appreciate you. Bo appreciates you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Great, you found a Kraken crystal. What do the Kraken crystals do? I'm assuming we just like get points for them or something. Also, where is this nice arrow post pointing car. us? Is it right? Oh. Oh, we opened up a hidden path. Look at us go, dude. And I'm being forced through it. I uh, hope you didn't want to explore anymore. <laughs> oh, no, we're not going through. We let him go. I'm just an idiot. That's all. This will be a journey unlike any you've ever experienced. You must follow this treacherous tide and defeat the enemies of our sea world, Poseidon and his evil servants. And when you return, be sure to seal off each of the holes beneath the park. Restore sea world to its greatness once again. Huh. Okay. <laughs> so it is actually Poseidon's fault, everything that's going on. Uh, when you said that earlier, Rue, I thought you were just like, you know, because Poseidon. <laughs> He's the, the king of the seas. I didn't I didn't realize that that's the actual lore for the game. <laughs> Poseidon has a tendency of messing things up. Who would have thunk it? Never know what's inside. Careful, you can never know what's inside these boxes. I know what's in these boxes. L2 plus X double head bash? Do we, nice do we unlock ready. a special ability? We make a noise and then we just... Okay. Are we... I, I can't wait until we get into a boss fight or something, man. I Like, how bad is the combat actually going to be in this game? I've got a feeling it's not going to be great. I almost think I would have preferred if it was just a adventure game. Two bubbles. L2 plus zero. Oh, that's right. I forgot we had... L2 plus zero. Did I really just call it zero? I forgot we had a shield. Nice ready. I'm I'm pressing L2 and O by the way. It doesn't seem to do anything. Also, I'm stuck. Help. <laughs> oh, you know what? I'm an idiot. You're too tired for Ah, this. now we're too tired for it. I wasn't pressing, pressing L2 was the button, I, or was the problem. I was pressing R2 because I'm dumb. Press X to break rocks. I promise you I've pressed it like 20 times. Explore beneath the rock. I'm doing it. L2 plus square for a tsunami? What? Oh. That was... That was our tsunami. <laughs> we just we just nice wave friend. our tail for a little bit, stun the creatures. I was hoping for something nice a little more shot. epic. We'll take it though. You know what? It's fine. Wait, are we not supposed to be here? Maybe this was just like a secret little hidey hole or something. Maybe we need to go up and over. Yeah, 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 okay. Okay, we probably do need to just go up and over. Because we're going, like, back to the beginning, right? Ooh. Uh, uh, nope. We missed a couple crystals somewhere, and I don't know why, but I feel bad about this. Give me double bubble, dude. Bubble me up. All the defense. Where are these last two crystals? Go back and find the exit. I'm doing that! It's not that easy being a hero. It would have been nice if the this way signs would have like updated. Are you holding a crystal? No. 
No, you're not holding one, okay. I don't know if I ever asked, how are you feeling about all the stuff going on with the Egyptian tombs and queens? Oh, you mean like how they found a crap ton of, of mummies, mummified people? And like something? What, what were they what were they doing? Were they like talking about opening one or something? Or somebody was like, for God's sakes, do not open one of them or, or take the crown or the jewel. I forget what it was. Explain, Noodle. Double head bash to defeat this enemy. I I I wanna make it clear that I am double head bashing and it's not doing anything. There we go. That was the king grab. Ha <laughs> God damn it, of course it was. Wait, where 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 do we go? You know what I can say about this game? It runs better than the new Pokemon. <laughs> oh. I'm enjoying the new Pokemon game, to be clear. It's just, it runs like absolute garbo. Wait, where, where do we go now? Mission objective. Collect 60 Kraken Crystals. Kraken Crystals. Defeat all enemies. Did we not... Did we not do what we needed to do? I thought we needed to, like, find our way back. Is it because we didn't collect all the Kraken Crystals? I thought that was just a bonus objective. I feel like we need to go in there. But I, I, I can't. Like, there's a hole. I can't swim down it, though. Still, can we not disturb the dead? Like, seriously, where's the line between archaeology and grave robbing? I get that. Go back and find the exit. Collect as many crystals as you can. Um, okay, well, apparently the exit was not over here. Superpower. Press select to get help. <laughs> They're swimming away already. Few enemies can stand the character with superpowers. You can use your points in the menu? Where? Oh, here. Oh my god, we can actually... <laughs> this is... Shamu actually has like a, 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 a RPG elements. You can level up his moves, unlock new moves, new combos for him. I want Shamu, the God of War game. That's what I'm looking forward to next. I still don't know where this exit is that we're supposed to be finding though. Maybe, maybe we do follow the signs, dude. It says go this way. Oh, do we go up? No, no, that's a, that's a dead end. Go back and find the exit, collect as many crystals as you may, well need something. Maybe we just missed it and that's why we haven't, or the crystals. Am I gonna have to look up a walkthrough on how to beat fucking Shamu's deep sea adventure? Caves are that way. Ah, oh, here we go, dude. I think we found it. This place looks new. N never mind. <laughs> it doesn't look new. I lied to you guys. It was just a different way to get back to here. Well, we found another crystal, at least. Uh... Talkie talk? Okay, apparently there's still one more crystal we're missing somewhere. Great! You found a Kraken crystal! I'm gonna sneeze. Oh god. <laughs> ah! <sighs> we got your hopes up? I'm sorry! I got my own hopes up. I'm I'm done with this level game. Please just let, let me be free. We're gonna take a break, guys, because I don't know what to do. <laughs> I really need to stretch and blow my nose and take a drink. We'll be back in a couple minutes. I might look up a walkthrough while we're there. <laughs> BRB, guys. Snacks and a drink. Yes, that sounds like a great idea.
you know? It will never get uh, all that bad. But you see specialists for it every once in a while and all that bullshit, so... Retail and fast food, you get yelled at all the time, so everyone is going to go deaf eventually? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Vision astigmatism sucks. Yeah, I got the astigmatism myself, man. I feel you there. Taking forever to save the game. Holy shit. In your defense, he's a super, super annoying customer that comes in every once in a while, and I swear he said, hey, tell so-and-so Herschel said hi. I didn't mean to click on file. Oh, wait. So we didn't actually save yet? We just... Okay. Well, yeah. Write a save, then. We do want to save. Ads are getting just shorter like, and shorter. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Next mission. Continue right along. Easy automatic mode. In this mode, you'll be able to perform and enjoy many different moves with simplified controls. With just one button, you'll be able to perform many different sword actions depending on the situation. You'll also be able to fire without pressing R1 to aim. Plus, by holding down the fire button, you'll be able to rapid fire. From here on, you'll be able to play in easy mode. Will you switch to easy mode? No. Although, being able to rapid fire with the press of a button sounds really nice. But we're not gonna, <laughs> we're not gonna go easy mode. Mine, uh, my eye doctor never said, but I imagine it's probably mild, to be honest. So I'm not 100% certain, but, like, I can't imagine it's extreme. There's a scale. They said they never, they never mentioned, they just said, uh, you're short-sighted, or near-sighted, short-sighted. You're a short-sighted son of a bitch, no. <laughs> they said, uh, you're near-sighted with a bit of an astigmatism, and then gave me... I've never actually looked at my prescription card either, to be honest with you. I use, uh, like, my, I get my glasses and, and my eye doctor and everything all in the same place. So they just kind of handle everything. I'm sure they've given me my prescription, but I've never looked, so. <laughs> you just have the usual depression and anxiety. Also, stream can't speak English example. Wait, you're gonna run out of numbers eventually, Rue. I'm just warning you, man. It's gonna happen, like... You can't count forever. <laughs> it's a landscape painting. There's an eerie aura surrounding it. Cool, okay. It's a painting of a war. <laughs> very, very useful. I love, like, who was building these castles back in the day and were putting creepy-ass things on the wall like that thing up there, you know? Like, who in the right mind was building this shit and was like, you know what we need? We need a, a silhouette of a man's head peeking out of the wall. Because that's totally normal looking. Can we, like, get you off of me, please? How do we, uh, how do we roll again? That's it. Rue can do anything they put your mind to. All right, all right, we're back. I didn't get any snacks, but I did get a drink. Speaking of, silence says hydrate, dudes. Let's go. If you got your drink in hand, take a drink, everyone. Hydration is important, especially right now when everyone and their mother is sick, at least around where I live. Hmm. It's terrible. Seriously, everyone's getting sick. Like, my brother is sick. Uh, a couple people at work were sick before me. My manager is sick. We just had one of the new people that works in my department call in sick today. Like, dude, literally everyone is getting sick. It is terrible, dude. Am I caught up on Doctor Who? Not 100%. I saw... Uh, I'm caught up on the show. Like, the, the main season stuff. I haven't seen the special yet. Uh, Jodie Whittaker's last special, I want to say. I haven't seen that. Um... But other than that, I'm caught up. I plan on watching the special soon. I've read a little bit about what happened, and I saw that David Tennant is apparently coming back for a uh, for a number of episodes, uh, specials rather, whatever. Three, I want to say. I think it was three specials. Um, but I haven't actually watched any of it yet. Yes, let's go, success. dude. 
Got it. We really did have to find all the crystals, by the way. That's that's what the problem was. If you didn't find all the crystals, you couldn't leave that godforsaken level. <sighs> you got a drink, Rude? Took some painkillers because of how your arm hurts? From Is it from the, the falling today? Is that what happened to your arm? Either way, I'm sorry your arm hurts, dude. That sucks. Oh, by the way, the new emote. Uh, I think it's stream... The fierce and mighty King Crab. Bo is lives no on forever in the Shadow. form of our emotes, dude. One last <laughs> and the king is gone. There is no time to rest, even after such a challenge. Shamu discovers a passage that may lead him to his next journey. Shh. Follow the evil Kraken through that passageway, but do not get too close. Kraken crystals form from the Kraken's ink. When you Ew. see this shape forming, go for it. Swim over the crystal. It's cr crystallized Kraken ink is what we've been collecting? But be Sounds careful. a little gross, TBH. Until the ink crystallizes, it's poison. Oh, so it's actually just crystals of poison that we're collecting. And don't forget. Even better. Don't fall far behind the Kraken. Swim into the blue clouds of turbulence. Blue clouds of turbo. Gotcha, gotcha. Maybe you caught yourself and pulled a muscle. Who knows? Yeah, I mean, that would make sense, dude. That sucks, though. Hopefully, it gets better soon. Sadly, as far as I know, there's not much you can really do for a pulled muscle. Uh, You know, hot or cold, whichever... Is more comfortable Follow for you. I don't think it really matters at the end of the day, to be mission. honest. And then, uh, try not to overexert yourself. I think from what I've, from what I've seen, I think, oh my god, I just lost control of Shamu again. Oh my god, are you serious? Okay, so when we hit the turbo thing, we can't move. <laughs> we get a nice speed boost, but we can't do anything. We're just stuck going in a straight line. Trash, my guy. Okay. You're falling behind. Pass through a thing. I, I'm passing through it. Let's go. This game is so bad. But yeah, from what from what I've read about pulled muscles, because uh, my back's been messed up a few times in my life. Uh, basically, what they told me was the old wisdom of uh, like getting rest, not doing anything with the with the muscle. Is, uh, isn't really the recommendation anymore. Instead, they recommend that you still do stuff with it. Like, you still get exercise for whatever is hurting you. Um, you just don't overexert, obviously. Apparently, that helps speed up recovery times, at least for, for, for backs. I don't know if the same thing applies for um, arms or not, but I mean... Muscles are muscles. It should be about the same thing, right? Fail to collect all the necessary... Well, I can't move! Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> so, you have to collect the crystals or you Follow fail the mission. In closely to complete this mission. If you get too far behind, you lose the mission. If you hit the blue speed pads so that you can get closer to the Kraken, you lose the mission. <laughs> I'm confused here, man. I feel like maybe you're supposed to be able to move after you collect the, the, the boost pad thingy, but I can't move. I'm holding down right now, and I'm not moving down. Well, okay. Once the speed boost wore out, I was, but in the meantime, nothing. I think the game's bugged. I skipped to the first boost pad. Hopefully that's enough to where he doesn't get away from us, but maybe we can still collect enough to win. We only need a couple more. Oh god, this part's so weird with the camera change the way it is. Like that's who played through that section and was like, you know what? That's perfect. Ship it. Like that's so bad. Alright, we got all the crystals. Now we just need to go. Oh god, we're gonna die. Are we good? Mission success. Thank god, dude. I did not want to do that again. That was a short-ass mission, especially compared to the last one. 
What time is it? 1.30? Do we want to switch games? <laughs> I don't know about you guys. I kind of want to switch games. <laughs> Should we play something else? I'll leave it up to you. Noodle. Shamu Nate, follows the silence, to a hole in Daddy Pee Wee. That leads to a huge cavern. <laughs> it's dark and scary. Dark and scary cavern, guys. Little does so Shamu spoopy. know that this is the evil Kraken's lair. Oh no! And does not notice Shamu. It's the Suddenly, Kraken's lair. Springs, Whatever will we do? <laughs> the Kraken is alerted. The Kraken is Swim, alerted. Shamu. Is this the boss Our fight? Hunter is now hunted. Chase Steven, Shemu must swim as fast as he can. Wait a second, is this just a running from the Kraken long. section again? Is this just the same thing again? Like, oh my god. Devil May Cry? We've already played through all the Devil May Cry, my guy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If I had the third one, I'd be willing to try it out soon. But I don't have the third one yet. Right now, I only have uh, one and two when we played both of them already. Then tell me what kind of muffin you want. Uh, well, you said you didn't know if you would like strawberry, so eat the eat the chocolate one. Rue's going to bed. Have a good night, dude. Got a final at 9.20 in the morning. I'm sorry. I had, like, an aneurysm when I <laughs> saw that um, colon in the wrong spot there. <laughs> Confused the hell out of me. Will buy it for me once you get money. You don't have to do that. I totally appreciate it though if Escape you if you do decide to, but you really don't to have to, my guy. Trust me, it's on the list. I mean every PS2 game is on the list, but like <laughs> I'll be getting it sooner or later, regardless, just to let you know. Like you don't have to. Wish me luck, you've technically got two, one in the morning and then one at night. Gross, my guy. But yeah, no. Good luck, Rue. I'm sure you're gonna nail it, dude, seriously. But have a good night. Get some rest. Have a decent test tomorrow. Let us know how it all goes. Oh, for everyone else, Rue already knows about this, so it doesn't really matter. Um, if you're at all interested in the Pokemon TCG, um, it, they have an app for a, a new updated version of the app for free on Android, iOS, and on uh, Windows PCs that you can download. Like I said, it's free. Um, I'm on there. I made a new account, so sadly I don't have any of my old cards or anything like that. But they give you a bunch of cards for free, and I have a bunch more code cards from, from buying Pokemon uh, booster packs that I just never redeemed. Anyways, point is, <laughs> on Discord, under the Looking for Group section, the LFG section, uh, I posted my name on there if anyone wants to add me as a friend. One of these days, I want to do some Pokemon card battles against people on there. Um... And yeah, that's, I mean, that's it really. <laughs> it's a great way to, to get some experience with the, the Pokemon TCG for free without having to spend any money on it. And it's the, the full Pokemon trading card game. Like there's no weird bullshit changes to the game for the rules or, or to the cards or anything like that. It plays just like playing in real life does just, you know, digitally. So seriously would recommend it if you're at all interested in, uh, in, in Pokemon trading card game. And yeah, hopefully one of these days we'll play some on stream. Maybe, honestly, on Tuesday, actually. Mission because uh, the Dorseman wants to take a little bit of a break from the podcast while he gets caught up on some things. So maybe that's what we'll do on uh, on Tuesday. Give that a try. Playing some Pokemon TCG. That sounds like a good time to me. I know uh, Rue also put their name on there for, for people if they want to play Pokemon with uh, with him. And then Nate, I don't think, put it on Discord because he's lame. But I know Nate has also uh, got an account. And maybe if he uh, remembers or one of us bug him enough, he'll put his name on there. Shamu can clear a rock blockage with his tail fluke faster than you can say splash. I think I'm done with this game, guys. <laughs> I, think I'm, I think I'm done with it. I don't think I got any more in me for Shamu's Deep Sea Adventures or whatever. It's just, uh, did what game week technically start yet? Because if it did, this is a what game? What even is this game? I think it falls under that sec that uh, that phrase just fine. <laughs> it's a weird ass game, dude. I mean, it's fine, though. If I was a kid or something and played it, I would have enjoyed myself well enough, I guess. But by the time the PS2 came out, I was, what, 10, 12 years old, something like that, 11? I don't know. I think this is like, if I was six, this would be pretty fun. 
You know what I mean? Uh, game to complete? Oh, 100%. No. <laughs> this is this is not going on the game to complete list. You're not tricking me with that one, Noodle. We're not having another Shrek 2 debacle here. <laughs> Shrek 2 wasn't actually that bad, to be fair. But, yeah. Can't believe that meme game still won, dude. From your votes alone. Like, you were the only person that voted on it, Noodle. And somehow, that's the game the RNG no uh, generator picked. For us to complete it was like the second one that we ever did with that that uh spreadsheet that i made too crazy crazy them odds but anyways i uh i'm tempted to try another game but at the same time i am still getting over the the sickness so i'm like should i just quit early you know what we might do actually hold on let me close this let me uh, empty my recycle bin just because I see there's stuff in there and that bugs me. Pokemon TCG Live. That's the name of it. Uh, let me load that up real quick. And then... It would be... What's the best scene to use? Probably 16 by 9 game view. Yeah. Transition. There we go, dude. We need to put the dragon back on here though gotta have our dragon buddy up there we go uh i don't know the best place to put it for pokemon so i'm just gonna throw it like in the bottom right corner along with chat 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 where is chat do i not have twitch chat enabled oh no i do oh it just it cleared itself i hate when it does that when I change scenes and it clears itself for some reason. Anyways, there we go. Transition. Hey, Perfect. Yeah, so this is Pokemon TCG Live. Pokemon TCG... Is this even a thing yet? Live? Trading card... Hey, it is! Okay, cool. Twitch has it in their database. Um... I don't know if we're actually going to, like, play a match or anything of it right now, but I just wanted to show for anyone who's like, doesn't know anything about Pokemon TCG Live or the one before it, kind of what it's what it's all about. So, yeah, whenever you first start up the game, you're given all of these decks pre-made for you for free, and then you can edit your deck, of course, just like you could in real life with all the cards. They got all the art from it and whatnot, too. Like, honestly, dude, it's a really nice online card game. I wish Yu-Gi-Oh would have did something like this at some point too. Then there's the the test thing here. So maybe we'll go ahead and play through one. Just so if anyone hasn't played Pokemon before but they're interested or whatever cuz I would love for more people to get into the Pokemon trading card game. So the game starts with you choosing a uh, coin flip. That's just to decide who goes first, who goes second or whatever. Flipping a coin, we got tails, so the AI picks if we go first or second. This is actually my first uh, Pokemon TCG game with the new client. I I signed in, I transferred my account before I decided to make a new account, and then I never did anything else with it after that. <laughs> like, okay, we didn't have any Pokemon in our hand, that's why it uh it mulliganed for us. So we drew a new hand, um, and then they will be able to, if they choose, they'll be able to draw an extra card for their hand. It's got all these animations and stuff. I don't think it had all of these before. Holy crap, okay. He took a Meowth. And it... Wait, did he take two Meowths? No, he just took one, right? Why'd he do that? Why'd he... I'm so confused on what the opponent is doing right now, to be honest. These two Meowths are the same. Why did he put an energy on this one? And then switch out with the one that has no energy on it must discard two cards from your hand in order to use this ability once during your turn you may search search your deck for a galarian perserker <laughs> reveal it and put it into your hand okay so he's going to evolve one of them uh what's a lugia got read the wind discard a card from your hand if you do draw three cards very cool okay that's actually pretty helpful uh, let's play, let's put another Lugia on the bench. Why not? 
Each player shuffles their hand and puts it onto the bottom of their deck. If either player puts any card on the bottom of their deck this way, you draw five cards and your opponent draws four. Shuffles their hand and puts it on the bottom of the, their deck. Each player shuffles their hand and puts it on the bottom of their deck. If either player puts any cards on the bottom of their deck in this way. So if your hand's empty, you, what? <laughs> okay, whatever. Flip two coins, put a number of cards up to the number of heads from your discard pile. Okay, we don't have a discard pile. Treat cost of the Pokemon this card is attached to is two less. Don't care about that. Play this card as if it were a 60 HP basic Pokemon. Anytime during your turn, you may discard this card from play. This card can't retreat. Oh, okay. So I'm assuming we'll be able to... But we can't put it on... Oh, no. What? Play this card as if it were... Oh, we can't just drag it directly to here. I'm assuming that'll be useful for getting some sort of fossil Pokemon or something later. I never really did the fossil stuff in the TCG whenever I used to play like physical or the uh, the the classic TCG game. As long as this card is attached to a Pokemon, it provides colorless energy. When you attach this card from your hand to a Pokemon, search your deck for a basic Pokemon, put it onto your bench, and shuffle your deck. Okay, so let's go ahead and put one on you. Cool, cool. Choose one basic Pokemon to put on your bench. We really only have a Bidoof and a Dunsparce, really? Okay, uh, what's Dunsparce do? Is there a way to get a closer look? Yeah. Colorless Pokemon in play, both yours and your opponents have no weakness. I will take it. Play that on the bench, and then your ability, discard a card from your hand if you do draw three cards. Okay, so I will go ahead and use that. I will discard unidentified fossil and we got another unidentified this deck might suck i haven't decided yet discard your hand and draw seven cards nice where'd my mouse go there it is oh shit he evolved both of them what else did he attach to it cape of toughness the basic pokemon this card actually gets plus 50 hp nice okay what do we draw? You. You're in evolution, so we can't do shit with you right now. Um, honestly? I don't think he has any cards in his hand. I'm just gonna... I don't really want to discard. So I guess I'll use Marnie. Wait. If either player puts any cards on the bottom of their deck in this way, you draw five in your opponent. So that would let the opponent draw four cards when he has none right now. So we probably don't want to do that, actually. Excuse me. But we really need energy. Um, and right now we have none. Discard pile. Mm. Mm. <laughs> this is trash. I guess we just have to do this again and hope to get more energy. Um, get rid of the... Unidentified fossil again. Okay. <laughs> we got a Lugia V Star. Ah, he got his first V Star Pokemon. Very cool. Treasure energy. As long as this card is attached to a Pokemon, it provides colorless. If you took this card as a face down prize card, we didn't. So that doesn't really matter. You need four just to do anything. It's Ultra Ball. Use this card only if you discard two other cards from your hand. Search your deck for a Pokemon, reveal it, and put it into your hand. Let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, let's play it. I will discard one Professor's Research and the Air Balloon. Done. I want you. Done. Let's go ahead and... Evolve you to that. That explains why we had so many fossils in here. Um, go ahead and put another energy on this guy. Metal Claw does 70. He will he might get that before we get to four. Do you have anything on our discard pile we really want? No, not really. Boss's order. Switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with their active Pokemon. 
Hmm. We're going to hold on to that because we might switch it out for that so we can try to kill it while we have a relatively strong Pokemon out on the board. Uh, but for now, let's just go ahead and read the... Wait, wait, no. No, 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 no. Treasure Energy. Thank you for reminding me of that game. <laughs> Whew. Okay. And we want to discard... Maybe you? Yeah, let's just go ahead and get rid of that. Done. Nice. Two Treasure Energies. I will take it. We need all the energy we can get. A double color list would have been really good right now, but oh well. Another air balloon. This deck is odd. Uh, we'll evolve you. What's your ability? Once during your turn, you may search your deck for up to two special energy cards. Nice, dude. Um, do we have a double colorless option? Provides single color powerful energy. What's that do? The attacks of the Pokemon this card is attached to do 20 more damage. What? That is sick. Okay, let's just take. Where are you? Pokemon cards attached to the active spot is damaged. Wait, if the Pokemon this card is attached to is in the active spot and is damaged by attacking your opponent's Pokemon, draw a card. That's pretty dope. What's the capture energy do? You attach this card from your hand to a Pokemon. Search your deck for a basic Pokemon. Uh, yeah, I think I want those two. Um, nice. Uh, it didn't trigger its effect, though, did it? Because we played it directly from there. Oh, well, whatever. Uh, and then let's go ahead and get Lugia down. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, is this a like an evolution? What is V-Star? It's been a while since I played pro Pokemon proper. It does. That's an evolution, basically. Wait a second. What attacks do you have? 220 versus 130. But I can't use the ability anymore. That is fine, dude. Do that. Hell yes. Uh, attach one to this Lugia so we can use that ability still. And then... Each player. Da, 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 da. Mm. Now I think I think we're good with what we got. Let's go ahead and attack. During your turn, you may put up to two colorless Pokemon that don't have a rule box from your discard pile onto your bench. Oh, that's neat. Tempest dive. Get fucked. You dead. Uh, this one. Yeah, number four. Take it. Professor's research. Okay. He's fucked, dude. Oh, wait a second. I didn't read that ability. Oh, no. Prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks from your Pokemon's... From your opponent's Pokemon VMAX. Does that count since this is a V-Star? Uh... <laughs> we might have done fucked up, my guy. I'm not sure. Um... Hold on. Okay, so... Speed wing. Let's go ahead and start getting some on him, because it seems like we might need a Pokemon that, uh... That's not a VMAX Pokemon. Because I'm assuming a V-Star counts as a VMAX. Do I want to do anything else? Well, for now, we can always figure that out in a moment. In the meantime, he has one energy on that one. Let's go ahead and play this. And switch it for you. And then... Attack. Tempest Dive. Murder that guy. He's donezo. Get out of here. Uh, number one. Powerful energy. Let's go. Does it say anywhere how many cards? Yeah, I guess it would just show it up there. So, he must not have any. Okay, he got an energy on that. Evolution incense. Search your deck for an evolution. Nice. We do want that. Um. Yeah, let's play that. 
Uh, do we want a barrel? Do we have the base? Let's just get this one so that we can go ahead and evolve this guy. Uh, excuse me, I said, excuse me, I said evolve this guy, please. And then you still need one more energy to be able to really do anything. Which kind of makes me regret doing this. Maybe we should... Oh, that counts as an attack, so we can't even use the ability. That was so dumb. That was a bad play on my part. Uh, We might be at the point where we discard our hand. Yeah. You know what? Let's do it. Draw some new cards, dude. We got an energy. That's exactly what I wanted. Thank you kindly. Um, might as well use the altar ball as well. Altar ball versus discard two cards. Search a deck for a Pokemon. Reveal it. Discard one. Search for a basic Pokemon. Hmm. Hmm. During your turn, you may put up to two colorless Pokemon that don't have a full box. It's going to involve you, actually. Because it seems like we can just tell you to do this. Oh, wait a second. That's an evol That's an evolved Pokemon? That works with evolved Pokemon, too? What? <coughs> Excuse me, that's pretty dope. Once during your turn, you may search your deck for up to two special energy cards and attach them to one of your Pokemon. Yes, let's go. Okay, 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 okay. So, I don't know. Let's just take lucky energies because we have some of those. Done. And then, we want one on you. And one on, oh, we have to put both on you. That's trash. Whatever. Too late. Now we know. Uh, let's figure out if this works or not. I kind of wish we had one of those air balloons now. Or would have used the air balloon first. And... Oh, it does work! Okay, that didn't count as a VMAX card. Hell yeah. Oh, he's so fucked then, dude. There's no, there's no way for him to win now. As far as I'm aware, he doesn't have any way of playing more than one energy per turn. Two if he gets like a double color list. Aw, you asshole. Uh, actually, that's not that bad for me. He's playing so many cards so quickly. Crobat V, what do you do? Stop moving! I'm trying to figure out what your card does. When you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench during your turn, you may draw cards until you have six. Ah, oh, that's cool. Switch a card from your hand with the top card on your deck. Uh, I don't like how he's powering up these guys. Why is he powering them up separately, though? Wouldn't it make more sense to just power up one of them? It's confusing, to say the least. Um, does Dunsparce evolve? <laughs> I don't, I don't think so. I mean, why not? We'll go ahead and, and see. Is there anything that evolves from Dunsparce? No, I didn't think so. Uh, I guess just take you. Whatever. We gotta take something, so we might as well. And just attack, dude. Like, everything is gonna die to this. None of his cards can withstand one of my attacks. All we gotta do is kill one more of his mon. Uh, yes, attach that energy to this Lugia. <laughs> Giving me a thumbs down over there. I think you're the one that needs the thumbs down, my guy. You're, you're kind of screwed. Metal Saucer? Okay, so he's going to be able to attack. Is he going to be able to do enough damage to kill me, though? 230, no. Not unless he has something to power up that attack. 
Oh, he didn't. Wait, why didn't he attack? During your next turn, this Pokemon can't attack. Huh? Why didn't you do anything, dude? I'm confused. I'm, I'm pretty sure you're just dead. Right? <laughs> like... Okay, whatever. I mean, <laughs> I guess that's one way to test out a deck. That AI kind of sucked. Either that or I got incredibly lucky. But yeah, so that's Pokemon. I didn't do a very good job of explaining how you do it at all, but <laughs> that's how it works. It's a lot of fun. I would love to see more people get into it in the community. But if it's not your jam, I totally understand. With that, though, guys, I think we are going to call it a night. Thank you for coming and hanging out with me a little bit. As always, it was so nice to see all of you again, especially uh, Big Daddy Pee Wee and Silence. I, uh, I don't see you guys too often. Not to make you feel bad. I understand you can't be here every stream, but I love it whenever you guys can be. It's nice hanging out with y'all. Uh, I'll be back not tomorrow on Tuesday. Maybe playing Pokemon TCG with you guys, with the community. Maybe. If there's enough interest in it, at least, that's probably what we'll be doing. Either way, though, we'll be back playing something. Until then, though, have a good night, everyone. And as always, be kind to each other. Bye-bye, y'all. I'm not saying uh, Rue is incapable. I'm saying that I don't think there's enough numbers in the world for how much I mess up the language.